So you know the names of the four valves and there's two groups. And let's look at what happens to them during relaxation and then contraction of the ventricles, which is when they're going to change in the two states. So first, this is ventricular relaxation. So the, so it's also called diastole. The ventricles are relaxed, not, not contracted. And during this time, what's happening is the left and right ventricles are filling the, because they're relaxed. So the atria fill with blood returning from circulation, either pulmonary or systemic. And that blood flows passively into the ventricles right ventricle, left ventricle, looking down here, over here, looking at a, a cross section um, or a frontal section, blood flowing in to the left ventricle, which is shown here, passively through this open valve. These two valves that I'm talking about right now are, are the AV valves. So the tricuspid and bicuspid or mitral is also the bicuspid. These atrioventricular valves are just hanging open. So the mechanism by which they open is just hanging. When, they're, when the, the, there's relaxation, they just hang open. So blood flows passively through the valve that's in, in the septum. So that's how these atrioventricular valves um, open. At the same time, so during ventricular relaxation, the semilunar valves, these two are our semilunar valves, pulmonary and aortic, they're closed. So they're actually a lot firmer structure and they are such that they're rigid and unless something opens them, they're going to be closed. So this is what it looks like right here closed. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is have contraction. The vent ventricles are going to contract. That's all the muscle around here, including the papillary muscles. So when we have contraction, we're going to have contraction of the ventricular muscle the, the myocardium of the ventricle, as well as the papillary muscle that's kind of embedded in there. So what's gonna happen when, when we have contraction, can you kind of imagine predictions of what might happen if this is, gets full of blood and then you have contraction? Two things are gonna happen. One, those AV valves, will be pushed shut. They're they gonna be held in place by these strings here, holding them kind of like a parachute, keeping them from flowing back the other way because they're so floppy. The papillary muscles are gonna help um, contract and hold those chordae tendineae tight. So I'll show you this picture in just a moment. Two of the semilunar valves are forced open because that contraction increases pressure in here and forces blood out through those semilunar valves. So this is what that looks like down here. We've got the AV valves that are now closed. That happens because this is all full of blood and when you have contraction, it increases pressure. So it's gonna push this way, which closes the valve. These are going to stay in place though because of these cords and, and these muscles holding those cords tight. The other thing that happens is the semilunar valves are forced open because of that increase in pressure pushes them open. So I've got a diagram of each of these separately to walk through here. Here's the AV valves passively open, blood flowing through them. When they close, when, when the when there's contraction, all the blood is in the ventricle now and contraction is going to push back and cause these to close, but they're held on in place by these chordae tendineae right here. 
semilunar valves, different mechanism, right? So as the ventricles contract, ventricular pressure rises, forcing the semilunar valves open. Yeah, so that's opening when the blood flows out, pressure drops inside the ventricles and the blood's out here now, pushes them back closed again. The pressure's now up here instead of down here. We'll look at these again, the valves opening and closing, closing with the cardiac cycle. When we look at pressure and volume changes during a heartbeat. Now, learning check, which one of these corresponds to which type of valves? So a little video there this is a ketchup bottle and I'm squeezing the ketchup bottle and forcing this little, it's air in this case, but you could imagine ketchup or blood being forced out. Which one's which here? 